So as soon as you walk in JD Sports, you guys see what's right there. Let's go get a closer look at these bad boys. So just like we've seen, I got them in full family size run here of the oxidized green Jordan 4. Definitely fire, good quality. But this right here is kind of the one, I guess, surprised to see them still in on deck, man. Diamond Turf, Deion Sanders, prime time, man. These are classic right here, bro. Can never go wrong with these shoes for sure. Women's section for the retros and dunks. We got this nice Jordan 1 mid in a black and white color tone. This kind of stands out a little more than normal. Definitely like this color combination, not bad. Are you guys surprised that the lattes are still around and it seems like nobody's even picking up a pair? Definitely a clean colorway though. Now these threes have been out for a minute. Why do they still have them priced at 200 bucks? I don't know. I would think that they would have been marked down by now, basically based on every other shoe out here, but uh, still got them full retail. So this was the location that had the Jordan 11's Neapolitans on sale. Uh, they're gone now, but they do have these still for 160 on the Jordan 3 uh, Lucky Green for the women. Don't know if they have a full size run left, but they do have some left. They get yet another colorway on these level 8 Air Maxes for the women over here. And then these are down to 65 bucks. Normal retail for $50 down to 6 or normal retail 150 down to 65 Let's see what their sales are looking like here. And it's pretty good here at JD Sports, man. 130 for the Pandas. 130 normally 180 going down and down more and more. That's pretty dope to see these this low. 155 on those, 155 on both of these right here. Actually, how we get it down there? There we go. I do like this color combination. Of course, if you know me, Dallas Cowboy vibes on this gray, navy blue and white. You can't go wrong with these mids at all. Let me know if you guys are a fan of this color combination or not. Definitely, if they came out in a high some years ago, people would definitely scoop these up for sure. Got these marked down to 105 from 185. Still full retail on this great colorway of the uh, Air Max 95. I'm not mad at this color combination for sure. And they pushed out this one here, all black with the white detailing. Definitely not mad at these at all. What do you guys think about these Air Max 95s? Air Max 90s down to 85 bucks. This green colorway is pretty solid for sure. 95 bucks on these, normally 160. Only eight and a half and nine and a half left on the Gore-Tex. Surprised they marked these down to 100 bucks. Definitely clean Air Max 1 right here with some good materials. Nike running shoes, pretty much the same stuff here. No real crazy markdowns. Okay. Definitely seen this colorway before. Haven't seen a markdown just yet. Now they got them here for 140. Definitely a fire colorway on these Vimero 5s. Also a very solid colorway on the Vimero 5s. But if you guys have been paying attention to my last video or my Discord, Energy A10, which by the way is linked in the description box, people have been finding this colorway and that uh, Lakeside colorway at Ross for 50 bucks, bro. They pushed out another colorway on the Vimero 5. So many colorways of this shoe here, and I'm not mad at the color combination. Not mad at the color combination that I'm seeing, man, for real. Over here talking too fast, can Got myself tripped up, 160 on the retail still. Another dope colorway of the P6000, man. I still like my racer blue the most, but this P6000 is definitely a solid colorway. Let me know if you guys are feeling this color combination. It's like that, uh, almost give me like a Washington Wizard vibes. When you talk about basketball teams, not a bad shoe. Very breathable, very lightweight. Only $110 on these. Adidas selection here, campuses, gazelles, a lot of things that we have seen before, and some of the same colorways that we've seen before too. Earlier we saw a really dope colorway of these 9060s. Now we've seen this colorway, which I also showed you guys last video at uh, Jetty Sports Northridge. Definitely a clean colorway on the 9060 for sure. You guys like this colorway or the one we just saw a little earlier in this video? Let me know in the comments. This was also on that table at the uh, Jetty Sports in Northridge, right next to this NMD. This or this New Balance right here. This one's pretty solid too. Got like this olive green colorway on this 9060, still full retail. Good materials on these New Balance shoes. You know what I mean? I'm not mad at these at all. And these ASICs are pretty impressive too in certain colorways because the materials they're using definitely looks pretty nice. That's a nice colorway as well. $100 on these. Got a full size run, four to seven. Air Max Penny One Lucky Greens or yeah, right, Lucky Green. 85 bucks on the Chinese New Year job ones in grade school. Reeboks here, $50 as opposed to $85. Not a bad color combination on these either. Shout out to the Reebok Classics. Definitely have one or two of these in my collection, but they're only uh, triple white. But we do have more of my collection coming soon, so stay tuned for that. I think I got some of these, actually. We already did the part one. That was about an hour and 10 minutes. Stay tuned for part two, because that's going to be like another 30, 40 minutes. 
grade school got all the price movers, 120 as opposed to 160, of course, because it's grade school. A lot of things going over here on the grade school side. You guys see what you've seen before. Let's go ahead and uh, look out and see what the basketball shoes are looking like for men's. Okay, this is the section we want to go see. Let's go ahead and dive in just a little bit closer. We got these guys checking out the oxidized uh, fours. Definitely clean right there. Let's go ahead and see what's on the wall right here. So they still got these on deck, these fear threes or uh, green glow threes. Fours right there still on deck, posted up, chilling. Oreos, fours, same old things that we've been seeing lately. It's kind of crazy for these things to still be around, but it's not. It's something we're used to seeing right now. I just, you know, new releases like this, man, here a day or two. Maybe location didn't get them like that. Is that what it is? Most location didn't scoop these up. Let me know what's up with that, bro. How are these people not scooping up this shoe right here? 